Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share a simple and healthy recipe with you guys. This is a vegetable and tofu stir fry and it's my go-to recipe. I always make this recipe when I feel like just eating veggies and no meat. So if you guys want to see how I do this really quick and simple recipe, then keep watching. Okay, so here are my ingredients for the stir fry. And you can add or omit anything that you like. Um, you can add whatever type of veggies you have in your fridge. I'm just using stuff that I like to use. So you don't have to use exactly what I'm using here. So first I have some chilies. I have about four chilies and I just cut them in half. These are also called bird peppers in Trinidad. I also have a few slices of ginger here and I just sliced it fairly big. Because I'm just going to add this to the hot oil, let it fry, and then when we're done, we're going to take it out. I also have a whole head of garlic, and I'm going to crush this really finely in my garlic press. You can also grate it or chop it in your food processor. I have some celery leaf that I cut really finely. Two stalks of scallion or scythe, chopped fairly into big pieces, not too finely. I just have one stalk of broccoli here that I just cut. I cut the florets into nice bite-sized pieces. And here I have a carrot that I just chopped kind of chunky but not too small. I have uh, some baby bok choy. I just separated the stem from the leaf because we're going to add the stems in first because these need to be cooked longer. I have about four button mushrooms here as well. You can also use the one in the can if that's the one you prefer and what I like to use is the dried fungus it's also called bat air mushrooms in Trinidad and it's also called tree wood mushrooms so if you can find that that would be um good for this recipe I just couldn't find it where I live I also have a half of a Christophine and this is called chayote I think I also have some snap peas I just have like about a cup. I have a quarter of a red onion and you'll want to separate these layers as well before we put it into fry. So that's it for all the veggies and now I have two packs of tofu and this is firm. If you can find extra firm as well that would be good because we're gonna fry this and you don't want when it hits the oil for it to fall apart. So try to get the firm or the extra firm. And to season this, I'm going to use some Sazon. This one has culandro in it, which is bandana or shadow benny. So this is the one I like to use, and I'm using two packets of this, one pack for each. If you don't want to use this, you can also use a little bit of soy sauce to season, and a little bit of salt and black pepper, and that's it. You can also use some cayenne pepper for the color. Now for the ingredients to make the sauce. So over here I have about one heaping teaspoon of oyster sauce. I didn't really measure this out with a proper measuring um, spoon because I usually just use a regular spoon. I used this spoon and I just took out like a heaping teaspoon of this. I also have a teaspoon of cornstarch and you'll need some water to just make this into a nice slurry. A teaspoon of white sugar. About one and a half teaspoons of hoisin sauce. I also have one teaspoon of regular soy sauce. I also have one teaspoon of dark mushroom soy sauce. And the last thing you'll need is some sesame oil. And I'm using this hot sesame oil that I found. I find it tastes really good. It's really spicy. And I love spicy food. So that's why I chose to use this one. So the first thing you want to do when you take your tofu out. Is you want to wrap it in some nice paper towels to absorb all the liquid. So once the liquid has been absorbed. Now we can cut it into the pieces that you want. So once you drain a fair amount of liquid from the tofu, most of it, you can cut it into some pieces and I like to cut it into nice chunky pieces. So 
So I'm just going to cut it in half and then like this. This is how big I'm going to cut mine. You can do it smaller if you like. Some people like to cut it into extremely small pieces. Maybe like this or like this. You can do it however you like, but I think for stir fry, it's better when it's a little chunky. I've separated the tofu into two different plates here, just because I want to distribute the seasonings really well into it. And I'm also going to fry it into two batches because I'm using a small pot. And what you want to do is put up a pot with some oil, enough oil to deep fry the tofu. So try to get it halfway up or just enough so that when we add the tofu it's going to be covered in the oil to fry. So you just want to add your sazon. And then you want to just mix it well to coat everything. And try not to be too rough with the tofu. Even though it's firm tofu, it still tends to break apart. So you can just take your hands and just lightly toss it. So once that's coated, you can leave it to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes or you can just fry it right away. So I'm going to fry mine for about 10 to 15 minutes until it has a nice crispy outer coating and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I just fried the tofu and I left it on some napkins just to drain the oil and now we're going to go ahead and start preparing the stir fry. So now before we start our stir fry, I'm just going to make my little brown sauce that's going to go into the stir fry. So first you want to add your soy sauce. Actually just add everything and then we'll mix. So that was the mushroom soy sauce. This is the regular soy sauce. This is hoisin sauce. the white sugar and the oyster sauce so just whisk it just to get everything nice and combined And now you just want to set it aside. Now we're going to go over to the wok and I'm going to show you how to make the stir fry. So I have my wok on medium high heat and I'm just going to add in about a tablespoon of oil and just try to get the entire bottom of the wok coated in the oil. So once your oil is nice and hot, you want to go ahead and just add your minced garlic, your ginger and your chilies and just let that fry for about a minute. Once that's fried, you want to go ahead and add your broccoli in and give it a nice stir. The broccoli is going to take a while to cook, which is why we're adding it first and we're going to let it cook for about a minute or a minute and a half. I'm also going to add in just about a teaspoon of water just to kind of steam the broccoli down. So after about a minute and a half you want to add in your carrots and the mushrooms and just give that a nice stir. And you want to just let that cook for about a half of a minute. Now we're just going to add 
our Christophine or chayote and we're also going to add the stems of the baby bok choy. Now you just want to let that cook for about 30 to 45 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my bok choy leaves as well as my snow peas and onion and I'm also going to add in the celery at this point. Just go ahead and give that a nice stir just to mix all those flavors together. I'm also going to add in half of the scallion that I chopped. The other half is going to go to garnish the dish. Now I'm going to hit it with a nice little pinch of salt. You don't want to add too much salt because your soy sauce has salt in it. Unless if you're using low sodium soy sauce. But just try to not add too much salt. Um, we'll taste it at the end when we add our stir fry sauce. Now you want to go ahead and just add in your brown sauce that we made earlier. And just give your veggies a nice mix just to coat all your veggies with that delicious sauce. When that's nice and coated you want to add your tofu and give it a good mix to incorporate all the sauces and all the flavors into the tofu. Because tofu is kind of like a sponge, it soaks up anything that you put into it. Whatever flavors you infuse into it, that's what it'll take. To my cornstarch now, I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of water. And I'm just going to take a fork and just mix it to form a nice smooth kind of paste. Not a paste, but a little more runny. And once you ensure that there's no lumps in your mixture, now you just want to go ahead and add it to the bottom of the pan. And then you want to give it a nice stir just to incorporate the cornstarch into that nice sauce and it's going to thicken up everything. It's not going to be like a runny liquid. It's going to give you that nice thick gravy over your vegetables. Now all you want to do is just give it a nice taste just to make sure that everything's perfect and adjust it accordingly. Add your salt, your pepper, whatever you want to add. And now you also want to just drizzle a little bit of that sesame oil over your entire dish and just give it a nice good stir. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really simple tofu and vegetable stir fry recipe. This is my go-to recipe for when I don't really feel like eating meat but I want something really nice and flavorful. I always make this recipe and I just figured maybe you guys would want to learn how to make it. This is just how I make it. You guys can make it with whatever type of vegetables you have on hand. Whatever type of vegetables you have in your fridge and you know you just want to put something quick together. That's what you can use. I usually like to add some bamboo shoots to this as well as some water chestnuts. They didn't have that at my grocery so that's why I didn't use it today but you can also use it. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to see all my latest videos as soon as I post them and I will see you guys in my next video. And this can be served with white rice and if you want to um, give it more liquid to it, you can add some more water and it'll give it a nice sauce at the bottom. But I like the amount of liquid it has in it now. It has like a nice thick gravy from the cornstarch. So that's how I like to make it. So until I see you guys in my next video, bye!